Katie K. Whale, A Whale of a Tail by Suzanne Tate, illustrated by James Melvin. Katie K. Whale was a young killer whale or orca. She was a black and white beauty. Katie K. was 13 feet long. She was a very big girl. Her home was in a group of whales called a pod. Katie K. swam and played with other calves in her pod. The young orcas liked to flip their tails in the water. Then they would play in all the bubbles. An older whale and auntie watched over them as they played. Watch me now, auntie, Katie K. squealed. She sliced the waves and dived deep. When she came to the surface, Katie K. swam on her back and swept her fins to and fro. Auntie always paid close attention to Katie K and the other young orcas. She was a stand-in for their mothers when they were busy with younger calves. Auntie was an important member of the pod. Captain K was important too. He was a huge male, the protector of the pod. He often went looking for prey, animals for the orcas to catch and eat. But it was Auntie and Katie K's mother who taught the young orcas how to spy hop. When the whales went spy hopping, they all stuck their heads upright above the water. They looked for prey that way. Auntie also taught the young orcas to swim fast when they were hunting. When the black and white whales swam all together, they looked just like a school of fish. A seal or other mammal didn't even notice them until it was too late. Sometimes the whales squeaked and squealed and slapped their bodies in the water. It scared fish toward the shore where they could catch them easily. The orcas were good hunters all of the time. Katie K loved to hunt with her podmates. She thought that it was great fun. But Katie K wondered what she might find if she swam away by herself. One day she was daydreaming and lagged behind the pod. Her podmates swam far away out of her sight. Suddenly, Katie K was all alone. Now, what am I going to do? She said out loud. But no one was there to answer her. Well, I would better look for some food, she thought as night began to fall. That night, Katie K caught enough fish and small mammals to satisfy her hunger. But she didn't have much fun hunting alone. When the sun came up, Katie K was feeling lonely. I really miss auntie and my pod mates, she thought. Then she heard. Dum, dum. Katie K looked around and saw what she thought was a big whale. But the sound was coming from a black and white ferry boat. Katie K was drawn to it like a magnet. I found a new friend, she thought and she swam near the black and white boat. Gently, she rubbed and bumped its steel side. The boat's propellers kicked up a white foam. Katie K dived deep under the foam. Then she came to the surface with a big splash. On the ferry, the passengers were excited. They were surprised to see a whale right beside the boat. Katie K opened her mouth and looked up at them. They were thrilled to see her big mouth with rows of sharp teeth. What a whale of a tail this is, everyone said. And the news did spread everywhere. Large crowds of humans came to ride the ferry and watch KTK. All the teachers said, let the children miss classes so that they can watch the whale. Many children came to ride the ferry. Katie K enjoyed showing off for them. I will dive down deep. When I come up, I will splash them with water, she thought to herself. And when she did, the children loved it. Crew members on the ferry began to worry about Katie K. She's not getting enough food, one of the crew members said. Let's be helpful humans and offer fish to her. But Katie K acted picky when they tried to feed her. 
she wouldn't eat any of their fish. The helpful humans didn't know. KTK wasn't hungry at all, for she went hunting for food every night while the boat was docked. Days went by and passengers spent hours leaning over the side of the ferry. They didn't want to miss any of the whales winning ways. But after a while, everyone was having fun except KTK. That cold steel boat was never going to warm up to her. This big creature is not friendly at all. I think he's very strange, she thought. Just then, KTK saw Captain K swimming nearby. Oh, how silly I've been, she said to him. Captain K was kind. Auntie and your mother are worried about you, he said. And everyone misses you at home in the pod. Come, I'll lead you there. Katie Kay was happy thinking about her podmates. She caught a big wave and followed Captain K. They soon saw the pod. Auntie was squeaking and squealing, Welcome! I remember to stay away from strangers, Katie Kay squeaked back. And now I know, she said, Home is where I want to be.